I have a, what do they call it, like an air humidifier that brings out lavender essential oil in my room and it smells beautiful and it's doing its job. I feel very relaxed, but I don't know if you're going to be able to hear it through the whole video, so I might have to turn her off. It's also creating a smoke effect behind my phone. Let me turn her off. Hello everyone, it's Kellen and welcome back to the coquette side of YouTube. I love my little intro now. So today I'm going to be doing the almost part two to what I uploaded, I think it was nearly two weeks ago. Last week I uploaded my back to school video. So, so happy with the response that I've had. So many of you have been saying it helped and that my advice was interesting and helpful. So that's always good. Today I'm going to be doing my what I got for my birthday video. Kind of skeptical about doing, but nonetheless, this video has been really, really highly requested. Might as well be an autumn haul. I'm so, so grateful for everything I got for my birthday and now I will share them with you. So the first three things I got were a collection of mugs. I got three autumn ones and these are so, so cute. It says, hello pumpkin. Oh, the pumpkin to my spice. And I got this little, just classic pumpkin one. I got this Disney princess one. The is really pretty and it's got princesses that they don't usually show a lot, like Jasmine and Moana. Um, and this mug that says queen of everything. Next thing that I got that's kind of autumn homeware is my bedding, which you cannot see. So I will insert footage of now. I wanted this bedding for a while since I saw it. I think it's from Asda and it's just beautiful. It's very retro autumn, which I love. I don't, I didn't want anything that looked too modern. I wanted something that felt a little bit more old fashioned to go with the coquette vibe of my room. When we was up in London, I also went to Artbox and with some money that I was given, I needed a new makeup bag. So I purchased this, which is a lovely sweet piano makeup bag with the intention of putting my makeup in it. However, I have seen another makeup bag online that I'm going to buy and use instead. And I'm gonna use this one for hair things. <laughs> I wanted a new handbag for the longest time, but didn't have one that was kind of a special one. I've got quite a few kind of tote bags and bags that I use every day, but I wanted a really special pretty one. My mum, who knows me like the back of her hand, of course, got me this. It's a bag by the Japanese brand Swimmer, which I already own a couple of things from and my mum is so amazing at taking note of what brands I like. In the shape of a princess carriage and it says little princess on. Is there anything you have seen that is more coquette in your life? Last day I used this was up in London and I just felt so princessy. The little zip is a pearl so it is you just cannot get more coquette than this handbag. My favourite book series of all time is written by one of my favourite YouTubers and that is the Rosewood Chronicle series by Connie Glynn. Never read it and you like coquette things and princesses and oh, just the most dreamiest and romantic and exciting of plots. I could talk about this series for hours. You need to read it. Your mum knows how much I like the series and she actually went onto the Rosewood Chronicles website and got me a Rosewood student tote bag. <laughs> it says student of Rosewood Hall on the front and back so now I can feel exactly like Lottie Pumpkin. If you haven't read the books you're going to be very confused. <laughs> Although I am a huge bookworm I didn't actually ask for any books. The only book that my mum really wanted to get me because you know I really wanted it for the longest time was volumes one and two of Made Summer, the manga. I really really need to start collecting the rest of the volumes. Okay now I'm going to show you all of the clothes, I'm sure it's what most of you have been waiting for. Although September has not been Septembering in the UK, it's been so warm. Most of them are with the intention of wearing them this autumn. To start with coats because they're the biggest thing and they're going to be the hardest to show you. When I was in school, I had this blue Miss Selfridge coat and I used to wear it in the winter every single day. And for the longest time, I wanted the pink one but couldn't find it anywhere. However, my mother sourced it and here she is. It is so winter princess. I cannot wait to wear this at Christmas and when it gets cold. I'm so sorry you can't see it very well. It's so princessy. It's giving very old money, very preppy. The collar is so fluffy. Can't go wrong. Next three items I asked my mum to track down because Ariana Grande wore these. I think it was 2013 and I'm going to show you them now. First one is this skirt. A photo of her with her drink and the skirt and her Starbucks is just so, so cute. I remember seeing this picture all the time and always wanting this skirt. Next thing is a coat that I believe she wore in Amsterdam in 2013 and it is 
this one. It's been on my wish list and want list for so long. I had no idea where it was from. It's from Topshop, would you believe? Really beautiful check pattern with a really unique zip that doesn't do in the middle, it goes down the side. The final one is a very iconic Pinterest outfit. I've seen this photo all on kind of the girly winter aesthetic. And my mum also tracked this one down. I just can't believe it. I opened all three of those and was like, oh, it's like I have her old 2013 wardrobe, it's mine. The next two coats are what I would class as autumn summed up. The first one is one from Jane Norman. It is this coat. I'm such a fan of the classic pea style coats with the buttons on both sides and then a tie around waist. And then from a brand called Mink Pink, my mum found me a fawn coat. It's got like a fawn deer print style to it. It's very fluffy. Um, and I've never seen anything quite like it. Next, I'm going to show you all of my jumpers I received. From Wee PR came in just before my birthday, so my mum wrapped it up and then I received them for my birthday. So I will show you those as well. So the first jumper is this teddy bear jumper. This is actually a jumper dress, or you could wear it with jeans. It's got honey teddy on the front and this beautiful coral coloured ribbons on both of the sleeves and I'm definitely going to be wearing this with some cute little thigh high boots in fall. I got this beautiful cream style jumper with a huge pink bow on the front. The top of this can be either worn as a roll neck or you can have it completely off of the shoulder. This stretches really really far and then you can use the bow to adjust it. I also got this cream jumper. This is more of a white colour but it has definitely got cream undertones. It's got little bows on the off the shoulder parts and a little ruffle up the top where the neck is. Also got bows at the bottom. I also received this beautiful brown cardigan. This teddy bear on. I thought this gave off such cutesy autumn vibes. I'm wearing this with a cute little skirt and my Mary Janes. I think it gives off such a cute preppy academia look. I received this gorgeous cardigan button up and it has these wonderful coral again coloured bows on the front but then you turn it round and on the back it has a little hood. My parents also I got this beautiful sweater dress with two large bows on the front and these beautiful oversized long sleeves that kind of do up at the ends. And from this independent Korean brand, she found this gorgeous kind of oversized sweater dress, but it's got lace frills at the bottom and a lace heart. I'm so, so happy with this. Also from my mum, I received this beautiful floral dress and this also on the back has a hood with a beautiful fur, kind of like fluffy lining. Got me this beautiful winter jumper from Ankh Rouge. Ankh Rouge is one of my favorite Japanese fashion brands and it's got a beautiful outline of a city with cherubs on. And then last but not least, I received this beautiful off-the-shoulder jumper from H&M from their new autumn collection. One of my favourite of all time favourite Japanese brands is Liz Lisa and I had not been able to start up my collection for so long because the clothes are very expensive and hard to come by. I'm going to show you the Liz Lisa things I got now. So the first one is this jumper from Liz Lisa because it's got my favourite flower roses on it in a deep kind of wine red colour and it also crosses up at the front to create this beautiful V and is done up with a bow. Mum found this beautiful pink one with flowers at the bottom. This is going to be so perfect for autumn. I can already envision so many autumn outfits with this. Match that one. She also found the same exact print but just in a deep kind of burnt orange colour. And this is autumn summed up in a skirt to me. All of these are actually collots and these ones have inbuilt shorts in with the lace at the bottom. They have two little bows at the front. This way you will have no accidents on windy days because of course they have shorts inbuilt into them which is just perfect for my life and because I live in England it gets windy. And I also received a little pair of Liz Lisa over the knee socks. These are argyle and they have two cute little beige bows at the top. This is from a little Korean independent brand. It's a pink corduroy skirt, which is going to be lovely. Very, very warm for winter and for autumn. My main birthday present this year was something I have had my eye on for just over two years now. When the original ones of what I'm about to show you were released, I immediately fell in love with those. And then the updated version came out a couple of years ago and I fell in love with those even more. But I will go and show you now. I still cannot get over these. I cannot get over these. Ta -da! <laughs> these are the Demonia Camel 311s. It's 
story behind these shoes. But I saw the first model of these boots when they came out over two years ago. I saw those, fell in love with those, then they released these ones with the cream fur outline and I fell in love with these even more. These were the ones I wanted but I couldn't find them in my size anywhere. Anywhere that did do them were either second hand and they were scuffed or they'd been worn loads. But these are brand new straight from Demonia and I am just so so grateful for these. I cannot believe I now own them in my perfect size. They fit like a glove. I've worn them as much as I possibly could in the UK heat wave. Every opportunity I can get in fall, I am gonna wear these. These are gonna be attached to me, like a brat doll. I am never gonna take those shoes off. You see if I do. And there you go, that is everything I received for my birthday. I'm so, so, so grateful for every single thing my family got me. I am a very, very lucky girl. I got a couple of other things from friends and family, but I didn't want to include them and make this video super, super long. I did just want to show you though my autumn homeware and my clothes. Give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. Really, really tried my hardest to list and name where everything was from, but I will be back to resuming with normal coquette autumn content as soon as this video is uploaded. Thank you so, so much for watching. I really hope you enjoyed this video. Give it a thumbs up make sure you're subscribed and have a beautiful rest of your day. Love you. Goodbye. I need to tidy this up. I have all of my things everywhere. This mug. Oh, it's so cute. Now I want coffee. My dad just coughed. Good thing because I've just finished the video. <laughs> Put my um, air purifier back on. <gasps> Bye.